Sean, you have a lot of games here at Western Michigan. Where does this one rank among them? Definitely one of my favorites one is because this is one of the first time I played in any type of snow like this in my life. So that was definitely an experience. Yeah, it was it was a good one too, getting the win against the Chippewas. They took the trophy last year, but we remember that and came back and did our thing. I'm proud of the boys. Good team win. What was it like playing in the snow? I mean, it was coming down hard. You even scored a touchdown. Yeah, uh, it was cool. It wasn't as bad. I thought about LaShawn McCoy on the Bills when he was playing. I saw him moving around. I didn't watch that game a couple of times. I was like, let me try to do something similar like that. I was talking to one of my coaches on the sideline, too. He was just like, just be real patient with your runs and not a lot of cutting, but more like stop and go. And I just applied that on the field and it gave me a lot of success. What kind of challenges does playing in weather like this um, provide for a running back uh, you know, who likes to use his speed and turn on the Jets? Um, just more change of direction, if, if anything. That's the only thing that probably affects that part of the game. But as far as me being patient and reading my holes, I feel like it being so snowy made me more like focus more on that aspect of the game of being patient and reading my blocks and where am I supposed to run to because every run is crucial, trying to get as much space as can. Uh, yeah. Central's run defense um, really started to bottle you up uh, more in the second half there. Um, did, they, did they make adjustments, or uh, what did you think um, was the cause of that? Yeah, I mean, we had like 200 like like rushing yards at half, so I believe they started adding like an extra hat in the box every time we ran the ball. So I knew that was going to be one of their adjustments going into it, but we stayed with it. I probably had, didn't have as many explosive runs, but the five-yard runs were still there, things of that nature. We just had to throw the ball a little more, just more complimentary football. What did you see in your touchdown run? Ah, uh, after I was following my puller, uh, 87, my tight end, and then after that, I didn't really see too much. A lot of the white snow in the touchdown, so I took my opportunity and ran with it, so yeah. What was it like just running by everybody in the snow? It was good. I knew once I got going, I was like, they're not going to catch me because they're not going to have like the time to like really get their feet going in this snow, and I already had my foot in. I was like, yeah, I got it, so I had a straight line. I just took it. So, what is, I mean, you've been a part of this rivalry for a while. What is what is this, What makes this rivalry so special, and what makes it so special to win it? Um, man, it means a lot. It just means a lot to one, the, the coaches, the alumni, the community. Like when you come into Western, like that's one of the first things that introduces the Central rivalry. And even though like you got your high school rivalries back in the day, but this is something completely different. It's something national that a lot of people like and things of that nature. And it just brings a lot of fun with the fans, their fans. It's, it's just, uh, it's just overall a good time. So yeah. Y'all said earlier this week that trophy case has been empty, and it's a reminder every day you walk past it. Mm -hmm. What's it? What's the first thing you're gonna think of when you walk past that trophy case the next time, and the cannons in it? It's in the right spot, definitely. Yep. So yeah. All right, guys. Sure. I appreciate y'all. Can I, being a kid from Florida, you ever think you get to play in a game like this? Nah. Uh, amazing weather. For the first time being in it, uh, it was kind of totally different. Matter of fact, um, just being out there, being able to be out there with my team, um, without them. Shoot, I wouldn't have been able to play in that weather without them boys keeping me hype. Questions? Just walk us through kind of like the fourth quarter as a whole was kind of back and forth and a, a crazy kind of ending. What was it like just to be on the field throughout that fourth quarter? Um, it was it was real back and forth. Um, that's what you live and play football for for moments like this. And for us to be on the field, for the defense to be on the field and um, end up sealing it, sealing it the way we did, um, it was just fantastic and a wonderful feeling. What did you see on that interception to seal the game? Um, it was it was um, kind of the end, so I knew they was going to kind of get a try to go for a big play. So with that being said, I just kind of played it um, like that. And when the play came my way, I just had to be, to be there to make it. What does it feel like to win a big rivalry game like this in the fashion that you guys did? It feels good, man. I know it's a lot of people watching, and I'm just glad we was able to bring it home for the ones that ain't here. What was going through your mind when you saw uh, just what the conditions were like out there? I was wondering, my first game playing in it, how I was going to play in it. Like, just trying to stay warm, but can't complain, man. It ended up slowing down in the fourth quarter. They was able to start passing the ball, and I was I was ready for them to start passing it. That's what I was going to ask. Is it like you know, with the snow coming down the way it was and stuff? Was it? I, I know you always probably believe in your offense to score, but was there ever a point where it was like, is anybody going to score again in this game? Like, how did you guys feel when it was coming down like that? Uh, shoot, they was both going back and forth. Both defenses playing uh, pretty good. So um, whichever defense was going to be able to be the one to make the stop, whenever whoever was up, and we just end up being the ones to be able to get the job done. So thankful for that. This is your first kind of real complete season. You battle injuries the first couple of years. How how does it nice does it feel to kind of put this one together? Um, it feels good, but um, first and foremost, um, with that, I just want to thank God because without Him, I wouldn't be able to be out there uh, the whole season uh, so far as I, like I have. All right. Thanks, can I? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.
Palmer, the first two kicks didn't go well, but the conditions had calmed down a little bit. Were you a bit more confident going to that last one in the fourth quarter? Um, yeah, I was a lot more confident. Uh, the first two kicks were my fault. Uh, Nick and uh, Bryce, great snaps, but uh, I was just too slow in the operation. And then the first one I pulled, but uh, blessed for the opportunity. Uh, all the confidence from Coach. Um, they were all saying it at halftime. It was going to come down to me. And uh, just blessed with the opportunity in Campy. I'm so proud, like so thankful uh, to get the win just for the seniors. I know this one meant a lot for them. So, your sister's a meteorologist. Did she give you a heads up of what was coming tonight? Um, she actually did. She sent me uh, yesterday. She said uh, she tried to call me, but we were eating, we were at team team dinner, so I couldn't answer. And uh, she just said, "I want to uh, let you know that probably gonna be kicking in a few inches of snow." Um, I wasn't expecting that, but. Uh, coming from the Midwest, you get lucky enough to uh, get used to those elements. Obviously, I've never kicked in four, probably probably three to four inches of snow in, in a game, but uh, I was definitely used to the cold, so that helped out a lot. It seemed like you were pretty methodical when you were lining up that last kick. Uh, what was going through your mind as you were uh, making your steps there? Um, just truthfully, uh, like I got to make the kick for the seniors. Uh, I've done this since I was a little kid, so I know I could do it. Um, I think it was probably another 25, another chip shot. Um, obviously, I missed the ones earlier in the game. Um, but again, just blessed for the opportunity that coach gave me. And I uh, can't, can't thank them enough. To have it be your leg to win the game in a historic rivalry like this, what does that mean to you? Um, truthfully, it's not just me. Uh, defense and offense played their uh, hearts out the entire game. And uh, yes, it came down to me. But without them, uh, I, just, I wouldn't have been able in that opportunity. Corvin, if Emmanuel Jr. had a shadow tonight, it was you. You were all over him. You know, what was the game plan going in, knowing that you know he had just run for 300 yards last week, and and you were going to see probably three different quarterbacks? Uh, yeah, we tried to prepare for all three, and now when we came in and seen all that snow, we figured it was going to be him, especially after the week he had last week. So we were, you know, we game plan for him, especially because he's a dangerous, dangerous player. He's really good, really fast. He just knows how to make plays, and so that we were prepared for him this, this game. What was it like to play in the snow? Uh, that was crazy. I'll be honest, that was the first time. That, that had to be the first time I've even played in the snow, and it was like looking like that. So it was, uh, I mean, can't change direction how you want to. But, I mean, it was fun. It was, it's a fun experience to have. Is it harder to run, move? Like, I mean, was it, like, that much different just, like, as far as, like, actually playing the game? Or? Yeah, it's definitely harder to, like, change direction so it's like once you get going it's hard to slow yourself back down and do you know the things you need to do break down and make a tackle and I think um what we kind of settled into that it's they had a huge run I think on their second possession because guys were kind of not used to that snow but once we, once we settled into it we were good what does it mean for you to win this game in this fashion uh it it's great to go out there and you know the game itself it was a defensive showdown like a lot of really good defense and it's good to go out there and be the you know we were the better defense you know and to win a game like close like that and a rivalry game the last one I'm going to play at this uh, school it's, it means a lot. This defense has been playing so well over the past uh, five or so weeks um, how good does it feel to be able to have that uh, those big plays uh, pay off with a victory like this? Uh, it feels really good, you know. We got a lot of guys on the defense that are just really talented, and we, are, you know, we got great coaches too, and just so many guys that want to make plays and they do it for themselves. They do it for the guys next to them. They do it for their family, the team. So it it, it just feels great to go out there with guys like that. All right, thanks, Gordon. Thank, Thank you. At what point during the pregame, when you see the the depth of the snow, do you just kind of rip up the game plan? Uh, pretty quickly, you know. I kept hoping they were they were going to clear it, and when they cleared it, it created even bigger piles and uh you know we we have a ton of respect for this defensive front i mean we we really came into the game thinking we were going to throw it to beat them and and um uh, you know so in some ways it helped us you know uh, their footing wasn't very good it hurt their pass rush early on uh you know not many routes you can run other than go balls so we just threw it down the field all day when we had a chance to and um but i you know sean did a great job of making adjustments i mean he he is uh he was patient he hung in there uh, you know, we moved the ball. It's frustrating in the first half, missing two field goals because you have 250 yards and 
and uh, seven points, you know, which uh, we have to be better. And um, but man, the defense played great. And but yeah, it was it was definitely worse than I thought. thought. Yesterday, our our field looked exactly like that. I asked the kids, you want to go inside for Fast Friday? You want to go outside? They chose outside. So we practiced in that exact same field yesterday. And uh, and the guys executed fairly well. And I think they gave me a little bit of confidence. I must say, do you think that made a big difference coming into today practicing outside? I do. Uh, we, we went outside in like a snowy storm earlier on in the week, but it wasn't it wasn't on the field. I have a great picture on my phone of uh, just the they just did the outlines and the hashes, and uh, we practiced yesterday, and uh, it was this the footing wasn't good, and uh, but we threw it, we ran our openers, we were efficient, um, and I talked to leadership council in the morning. I said it's up to you guys, but you know what do you guys think? And they wanted to go outside, and and uh, I'm glad we did. You know I didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was in the first half, but they responded well. What does it mean to win this rivalry game? Oh, it means everything. I mean, this is a game that, uh, you know, when I came to Western in 1995, um, this is what you learn, you start learning about it, right? Between five years when I was here and two years in assistant, six years as a head coach now, uh, it's, it's the game, you know, and, uh, and they're a good team. They've won three in a row and, and there's just, there's so much outside stuff going on, you know, and so, uh, to have our guys fight the way they have. The season has not gone the way we wanted it to, but to have them show up and play hard and play like they did and have the defense make plays down the stretch and the offense make a drive when we need it and Palmer go for two and hit the big one on the third one, it was uh, it was a great way to end the game. What was your message to Palmer? Um, obviously, he had missed the first two and then yep. comes in and has to hit the clutch field. <laughs> I mean, I have tons of faith in him. And uh, the first one, no big deal. Uh, you know, second one got blocked. He, and I said, did you hit it good? He said, coach, I hit it flush. You know, it just got blocked. The operation was kind of slow. At that point, we were still kind of in the quagmire, which slowed up the operation. And uh, so we had all the confidence. We did move it off the left hash. Uh, tried to put it middle to right on the last play just to make him a little bit more comfortable. And man, true freshman, big game, first rivalry game. He doesn't even know how big this rivalry is yet. He'll learn over the years. But uh, it was a great, it was a, it was a great way to end the game. With the weather, you knew that they were going to rely on Emmanuel Jr. a bit more, with the exception of the one long run. You guys really did a good job of containing him. Yeah, they had one long pass and one long run, and we just got over we got overzealous on the backside, and he hit the brakes. And he's a great player, man. I talked to him after the game and. Uh, you know that their offense is built for that, that that field. You know, unbalanced, all kinds of quarterback run. Um, so that that was definitely advantage them uh, when it comes to offensive uh, scheme, I guess you should say. And our our defense, we were in gaps. We we kept the guys in front of us. That's hard because it's hard to everything's slippery. It's hard to hold on to uh, their backs and their quarterbacks. And uh, man, defense. I mean, they've been they've been playing great all year. You know, and. Uh, and we kept leaning on them, putting and giving them another chance. And uh, I thought they scored there at the end, but got a safety, which was huge. And um, you can't say enough about how our defense played. Had Trayson really seen a, a snow fight before this week? Nope. <laughs> this week. He was like a kid in a candy store this week throwing. Um, we've been talking about it for weeks, just throwing in the cold. We've been talking about the different ways to make sure it's different. It's, it's, there's, the ball is dry. And, and your hand is dry, and you have to create some type of moisture to get the ball to stick. And we had him about three weeks ago when it started getting cold, we had him throw with a glove. He didn't like that. So we've been working on this for a couple of weeks. And then this week it hit in practice, it hit. Uh, obviously, it hit in the game. And I thought he threw the ball pretty well. I mean, we couldn't run a lot of routes. You know, everyone was falling down. So it was, I don't think his completion percentage was probably pretty good because we were just taking shots, you know, one on one shots. And uh, he missed a couple, missed a couple reads. Uh, but man, what he did with his feet. You know, we ran a lot of Q draw, and, and he did it. The first play of the game, he pulled. He missed a couple pulls as well, but, you know, just a, a kid from Tucson, <laughs> never seen snow. Uh, he came out here, and he led us, and, and he was positive the whole time, even when we were struggling in the third quarter and early in the fourth. And, um, you know, it was a huge, huge win for him in, uh, in his first Cannon game. What were the keys to uh, getting Sean going in the first half? Just slowing them down. I mean, their footing was not good. That, it helped our whole line, to be honest with you. Um, I love to, you know, Addison West did an unbelievable job. I mean, uh, Jacob Gideon got hurt last week. He's done for the year. And, and Gideon, or uh, he, Adam, or <laughs> West had to go to center. Um, was hot and cold all week with snaps. I mean, we had plenty of snaps over the head this week. Uh, so for him to come out and be perfect. It was huge, and I thought the O-line did a good job getting on their guys. But Sean, his patience in that type of field, uh, I, I mean, I had a long talk with him. and Because once you get going, there's no cutting. So I said, just 
Wait till you see what you want to see and then hit it. But do not. He normally gets it and goes. That's what. That's his strength, you know. And watching him make the adjustment that fast, you know, even on the first one, that's the first counter we've hit. It's clean. We've we've called it plenty. But the first thing is wait, wait, wait. The A gap opened and he hit the R2 button or whatever button that is to go real fast. And uh, and he came right. He came right out of it, you know. And uh, but I was just so proud of that adjustment because that's hard, you know. And and so that for our run game. The field did help us in the first half, and then their footing was better in the second half. They're really good up front. And, uh, you know, they did add a couple more people to the box, but, uh, you know, their D-line, they did a couple stunts and stuff. But, you know, we just, they, they, they were really good. Then they, they played better in the second half once the field got clear, and, and uh, we got a little bit more aggressive with the throw late in the game to try to get down the field. How do you like coaching in the snow? Is it is it fun or is it like a stressful time? What is, what is that? Like? I don't I don't think it's stressful. You just hoping you're trying to tell the kids about every little nuance that they need to think about. You know the quarterback and the splits and and uh, and how to catch a ball. We had a ball early on that I thought we had Malik behind coverage, and instead of just cradling it, he high pointed it like we teach. But when it's and went right through his hands, it's like just cradle it. You know, and, and of course I didn't tell him that beforehand, so that's on me. But he cradled the next two, you know, which were huge. So, uh, you know, you're just trying to think of all the things you want to hit. And I, I could tell you it was great because it wasn't windy, so it wasn't that cold. But uh, not knowing where the sideline was or what yard line we were on, and uh, it, it made it difficult for the communications. And uh, but I think I think you know the officials handled it well. I think our players handled it great. Uh, it really does change special teams. I mean, there's the balls skipping on the ground different, and and the opera. I thought Nick Mahalik punted great and kept us on the right side of the field. Our our punt team got got a recovery for us. Unfortunately, we couldn't do anything with it, but uh, I really, we were hammering special teams at pregame and halftime. Once I saw how the field was, it was going to be a big part of the game, and and uh, it was again. You're missing your uh, power running back, a uh, bunch of tight ends. Um, <laughs> that are... would have been a great 12 game, wouldn't it? I love 12. Uh, yeah, I mean, those guys are key in the red zone, especially. Yes. Uh, what can you do to kind of uh, improve the efficiency there? Uh, <laughs> Got to keep working on it. You know, we we didn't. You know, we were going to throw it when we got down there more, um, but obviously the field made that hard. And at the end, we just wanted to keep the clock running, make them burn all three timeouts and kick the field. If we could have scored, that'd been great. But we were running three times to get them to burn their timeouts, and um, but it's hard. I mean, we put in uh, Brandon Smith, freshman offensive lineman at tight end, so we could have two. Um, but yeah, we're not. We've been a 12 team predominantly for years, 12 and 11, and now we're running 11 and 10, and and so uh, we're definitely having to do different stuff. So coming out there in a snowstorm without, uh, I think, I think in 12, I think in 12 we had one, two, three, four, five plays. That's that's all our 12 compared to our 11 and 10 stuff. So uh, there wasn't much to go to. Um, but yeah, we have to continue to find ways. You know, I thought we uh, Corey did a great job with the motions. You probably saw a lot of side motions where he was, he was trying to move coverage and he was adding on and getting an alley defender, which is the 12-ish runs with Corey Crooms in there trying to handle whoever the overhang player is. So uh, we had to do a lot of different things to, run, out of 11, run some 12 personnel runs. And um, I thought Corey did a great job of blocking. Uh, another uh, big day for the defense. Um, what does it mean to see their performance pay off in a win like this? Yeah, they've been playing so hard, and, and obviously last week we've had a tough two weeks, I and mean, we lost one by four and lost one by three, and, and shot ourselves in the foot over and over again, and, and we're trying to grow grow through those things. They had a chance to make a stop last week, and I know they're hurt that they didn't at the end, and to watch them come out and make the stop late, um, especially against a team that's been great in the second half. This team, I mean, they were down a ton to Buffalo and came back and won. And they've been down a lot and come back in the second half. They played really good second halves. And to see our guys respond and get the safety and uh, flip the field and get the stop at the end, can I with an interception to end the game? And uh, they were getting after the quarterback. And so it, it's, I mean, we, we have to lean on them. That's who we are right now. And, um, and I'm proud of them. They just keep answering the bell. And, uh, and that's what we needed. Does it mean anything to you to take this or go against this team that's on a good little streak and take them out of bowl contention? Uh, the cannon meant more than than trying to you know stop them from going to a bowl. I think we you know we we wanted to send our seniors out. This is their last chance to win this thing. Uh, you know they didn't win it last year, and, and we've had a tro an empty trophy case for a year, and it's been there three of the last four years. And to have an empty trophy case, and the seniors are going to carry it home, and they're they're going to have it in the bus. And I got to try to get them to put it in the trophy case and not take it home. That'll be something I'll deal with here in about two hours when we get home. See, I got to find out who has it because they're going to try to take it. Um, 
so that that was the biggest thing is just getting our team back on track. We, we've had so many issues uh, that we just focused on us and focused on this big rivalry game. And I told them that there's a lot of alumni that are happy, you know, that you guys represented the name on the front of your jerseys. And and I know you have a lot of that. Your families are proud of the way you represented the names on the back today. And, and so it was good to tie a team win together because I thought everybody had a big piece in the win. And, um, you know, and that's that's what we've been searching for. The orange ribbon, obviously, in your hat has a, a big significance. Um, what made you want to wear the ribbon? Obviously, everybody's thinking about Virginia, but yeah. what was the importance of wearing it, and what does that show to that program? Well, it's just a huge, you know, a huge hit for college football and, and teams everywhere, and, and just thinking and praying for those guys. Uh, coach Gaither is the wide receiver coach there, and he coached here two years ago, and I talked to him on the phone, and I know Coach Elliott and, and those players and their families, and and what they're going through, and 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 I, we talked as a team about, you know, just what what kind of an impact that makes on college football, you know, and how we have to be there for each other, and and make sure that they know we're thinking about them, praying for them. It's not going to. It's a long road to recovery, as I talked to Coach Gaither, and I know he lost a couple of players in that wide receiver room, and uh, so we're thinking about them, and uh, we got to stick together, and and uh, and hopefully continue to do things to have each other's back. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you, thanks, coach. guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you.